Okay, I'm going to try and keep this video as short and as sweet as possible. I have a lot of really exciting things to say about developing apps in Windows 10, and I um, I really want to show some of the things that I've been learning to do tonight. So for my A-level computer science project, over the past week or so, I've been writing a help desk system for Wyndham High, which basically allows teachers to report problems. And I've been writing it uh, from a mobile perspective because we don't currently have a mobile help desk app. So I've been starting off writing for Windows Phone 8.1 and then gradually uh, in the future would have moved to Android and iOS with that kind of progression. So for the past week, I've been you know, developing apps for Windows Phone 8.1 and going back and forth between various ways of developing for Windows Phone 8.1. And then today it suddenly struck me that when I hand this project in, Windows Phone 8.1 will be previous generation because Windows 10 Mobile is coming out very soon. I, I can't say an exact date, but it's coming out soon, sooner rather than later. And um, I really wanted to start uh, thinking about developing for the future of Windows, for future devices, for future operating systems. So I downloaded the Windows 10 uh, software development kit for Visual Studio today. Uh, I'm using Visual Studio 2015 here and Windows 10, which is the perfect combination for developing Windows 10 apps. And the most exciting thing about this has to be the fact that it's just absolutely incredible how flexible this is. The fact that with Windows 10 Software Development Kit, you can produce an app, one app, okay, one app, so no need to change any code or anything, one app which will work on a phone, a desktop, a tablet, a Surface Hub, you know, those 84-inch 4K devices, a, um, what haven't, what, what haven't I mentioned, you know, a laptop, a desktop, a phone, a Surface Hub, an Xbox even, any device that runs Windows 10, you can now make one app which will scale and fit perfectly to run with that device. And because I'm using C Sharp, the language is completely transparent across all of these devices. Now just think about that for a moment. Five years ago when I started computer programming as a hobby, this was not possible. It was completely unheard of. We were developing apps for what was known as Windows Forms, and these were your typical Windows desktop apps, and then you would have been developing separate mobile apps for Windows Phone 7, which had nothing to do with your desktop apps. And now here we are five years later in 2015, and I'm making one app that runs on everything. It runs on a phone, it runs on a tablet, it runs on the lot. Now how amazing is this, okay? I can run this app on a phone and it will look exactly the same as it would running on a PC. I'm going to demonstrate that for you now. So here I'm going to start up the um, the emulator in Visual Studio, or should I rather say the Windows 10 SDK, which will um, basically load up a virtual machine of Windows 10 Mobile and obviously at this point it's a beta version of Windows 10 Mobile because the final thing isn't released yet and it will start up my app in just a second. You've just got to bear with it, sometimes it can take a little bit of time but I think you'll be really impressed by the results, okay? So come on. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay, so the app has initialized on my uh, emulator. All right, and you can see here the app is now running in a hypervised version of Windows 10 Mobile. All right, so I would leave the, I'll leave this field blank and click tick. All right, and we can see I put, I put a little bit of data validation in message boxes and stuff like that. Okay, and as we can see, it then navigates to a page. Now, this just looks like any Windows phone app, okay, and that's really nice. That's really cool. So we'll come out of there. Now just by going up here and clicking on local machine and hitting run, I can see how this app will look on a desktop. And I haven't made any alterations to the app at all, okay? You just saw it run in an emulator of Windows Phone, or Windows Mobile 10, I should say, or 10 Mobile, whatever they're going to call it. And here it is running in Windows 10 on the desktop on my PC. And it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. I haven't made any alterations at all. Now, for those of you who have previously tried to develop for mobile or even develop with Windows Phone 8.1, you'll appreciate how transparent this is. And for those of you 
who have never programmed before or who have never ever used or never ever tried programming for mobile, don't bother with Windows Forms anymore. Just develop a universal app for Windows 10 because it will be the best of every world possible. And I should say this scales perfectly. It looks just as good in a set on a 720p device as it does on a 1080p device. It scales perfectly. So if you're new to programming, if you're thinking about getting into coding, don't code for Windows Forms anymore or Windows Desktop as we used to call it, okay? Don't code only for Windows Mobile. What I'm trying to say is that you should code Windows Universal Platform apps which run on everything. One app, one app, one set of code that runs on every device. Now five years ago this was impossible but today it is. So hopefully uh, you've found this video at least a little bit interesting and um, if you do have Visual Studio 2015 and Windows 10 please download the SDK for Windows 10 and start developing with Windows 10 apps if you're interested in developing anything for Microsoft because this is truly a game changer in computer programming.